Hey guys, here's PH from iBlogGeek.com and today I'm gonna show you how to control a $1 laser pointer with Nerd Kids. Mm, I bought this $2 laser pointer that comes with 3 button cell batteries uh, and a laser, of course. Uh, and actually we will just need a laser and I will explain how to turn this laser on without any electrical components like resistors or something like that. I connected two wires to the blue rail and red rail in my board and I connected the wires to the multimeter and I got 5 volts. I found it in the web that 3 of these button cells batteries give us 5 volts and we saw that the nerd kit is powered with 5 volts and will give us 5 volts. So what we need to do is to connect this laser to the nerd kits and we will control it as if it was an LED. As you can see, I already have a custom laser pointer. Uh, and to do this, it's pretty simple. You just need to remove the batteries uh, and you will see a small wire inside the structure of the laser. And what you need to do is connect a wire to the small uh, wire inside the laser and put it outside of the laser, like I did here. And the other wire you need to connect to the silver structure of the laser, like I did here, and put it like that. And I also added a string here to hold the button, so that I don't need to hold the button and control with the computer. So I just need to fire the laser from the computer and it will light up. Now I connected the laser to the my, bo to my board. Uh, the blue wire goes to the GND rail to the ground and the yellow wire needs to go to PB1 in the microcontroller. Now let's test it out. I also developed a simple, a simple Mac OS 10 user interface to control the laser. Uh, here you need to set the nerd kit address. I set it defaultly uh, with slash dev slash co.pl and you can start the laser, stop the laser, fast trouble, dimmer and long trouble. Uh, I'd like to thanks to MKSH4 uh, for the dimmer code. It, he helped me a lot developing it. Uh, and let's test it out. I will pass start the laser and we got the laser. Okay, now let's stop the laser and fast trouble. It's trouble. Now let's dimmer. It's dimmer. And you can send many functions like fast trouble, dimmer, fast trouble, and it works great. The laser working. It's working pretty well. Uh, and to think, to turn things more cool, I developed a simple way to control it from your iPhone. With a simple C++ code, you can control the laser from your iPhone. Uh, I did a simple uh, C code. Uh, it's running on mobile terminal on my iPhone. And it says laser control. And have the five options that have in my computer. Uh, that is start laser, stop laser, fast travel, dimmer and slow stroll. Okay, now let's test. Pressing 1. Return and... We got the laser here. Okay, now let's back and press stop laser. The laser stop it. Let's try to fast struggle and we got the struggle. Let's test dimmer and we got the dimmer. And that's it. 